I want to um, I want to visualize your your lineage uh, quickly. So let's go um, to your teacher is Francis Lucille, correct? And yes. did you did you meet him around 1995 ish or when? A little bit later, 97. 97. Okay. Yes. And then for 13 years you studied with him. So up until yes. about 2010 or so. Yes. Let, let me just go back a little bit further. Yes. Uh, Alan, to my late teens, where I first became interested in these matters. And uh, so I started um, attending um, a school or a society in, in London called the Study Society. And it was uh, essentially a, a, a school of classical. Advaita Vedanta. So for 20 years or so, I was in this classical Advaita teaching, practicing uh, mantra meditation and exploring the, the classical non-dual teachings. And it was uh, after 20 years of that, that I then met Francis. Yes. He introduced me to the, uh, the, the direct approach and he also introduced me to the, to the tantric approach, which he had uh, um, learned through his teacher, Jean Klein. Yes. And as yes. you say, I then spent uh, 13 years or so with Francis uh, before I started yes. speaking about these matters myself. Yes. Yes. Very few people have the opportunity to be introduced to non-duality at the age of 16, which is what you had. That's true. I was fortunate. My mother and stepfather at the time were both very interested in these matters. They originally went to uh, Collett House, the, the, the study society in London, and so they introduced me uh, to, to Collett House, the um, Advaita teaching. Um, they also practiced the Mevlevi turning. And so I was introduced, I was very fortunate at, at an early age during my mid to late teens to come across this understanding, to, to meet a lot of people and spend really most of my time with a, with a lot of people, most of them older than me at that time, who were interested in these matters. So this really, yeah. from my mid-teens up until my mid-30s, the, uh, the classical uh, uh, Advaita or non-dual ap approach was really the, the backdrop to my life and, and was really the main focus of my life during those years. And, and Francis's lineage goes to Jean Klein, who he met in 1975, and then, and then, and then Jean Klein was with uh, Pandit G. Rao uh, in yes. 1950, and Pandit G. was a professor of Sanskrit in Bangalore, and uh, he came from a lineage of Advaita teachers. Yes, Th that's true. Jean Klein was also a, a yoga teacher. So what was uh, unusual about Jean Klein, and I think immensely valuable, is, is that he, his approach incorporated the body and didn't reject the, the body and, and indeed the world, as some of the classical Advaita teachings coming out of India did. Uh, so this was the this is what I referred to earlier as the tantric approach, which is an approach of inclusion, yes. Yes. including the totality exactly. of experience, yes. rather than the <laughs> classical Advaita r r approach, where, where uh, the, the, the body and the world are considered, uh, at least in some expressions of it, are, are considered d dangerous realms where we might um, lose ourselves. Or, um, so that was something very valuable immensely valuable that Francis um, introduced me to this this inclusive path yes as opposed to the path of exclusion or the path of discrimination which which don't get me wrong I have the highest uh, regard for and spent 20 years on that path myself and it was immensely valuable but there was something incomplete about it yeah. for me because of this uh, um, lack of inclusion of, of the body and the world. And, and of course, during these early years, I was practicing, as you said uh, earlier, as a potter, I was spending my, my days making pots in my studio and my, and my nights reading Ramana Maharshi. But as a potter, I, I, I loved things. I spent my life making things. I loved things. I loved beauty. And so there was no question of me renouncing Yes. Object. So, uh, so it wasn't until I met Francis that this, that, that my love of beauty 
that I was exploring in my studio by day and my love of truth that I was exploring at home by night r really came together. And I, I, I realized that really the love of beauty and the love of truth uh, are, are yeah. indeed the same. The, the yes. same <laughs> yes, yes. And this is, this is key. And we're going to touch on this throughout our conversation is this full embrace of the beauty of what is what we have here and the full unleashing of 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 inner potential artistry gifts into our uh into our reality i i want to um i want to relate what you just said also to sri arubindo quickly and the mother mira alfasa and the integral yoga in the sense that they also uh highly highly emphasize the importance of anchoring the divine, anchoring um, the full embodiment in every day. And that way, it basically butterfly effects out into everything um, that we do with our family, our friends, our work, um, our relationships, everything. And that's the, the process of the... Um, the beginnings of a more uh, beautiful and uh, truthful and and awakened to the true nature of reality uh, world. Um, yes, yes. 